We can only guess whether the grave diggers were right. Could they really see that Jessica would cause the death of 1,251 people? How did they know it would happen? Did he survive? No one knows. Maybe he became another victim of the grave diggers. Or maybe he became one of them. One thing is certain. He was never seen again. <laughs> Why did he just kill Jessica right away? Well, this is just some kid's fairy tale. Let me tell you a story that actually happened right here. Have you heard about the crimson mist that sometimes descends at night in these very woods? They say that people disappear in it and are found dead the next morning with strange marks on their chests. Only one person ever got out of the mist alive. He was the one who told me the story. Hola mis queridos, como estas mi amolicia? Hello my kittens, how are you? My name is Allison and today we are playing Bonfire Stories Heartless Collector's Edition. Yes, we are finally playing. This is actually going to be the last video of Bonfire Stories Heartless Collector's Edition. And before we continue on, there are actually a couple of things that I do want to mention. There is a difference between Collector's Edition and the regular game. The difference between the two are the extras, basically. And in the extras, you get... Please don't freeze on me. Uh, you get music that you can actually save onto your computer. You actually get wallpapers that you can actually save onto your computer as well, as well as the... Uh, concept art, if I'm correct? No, I guess not the concept art. There's also the collections, which are the figurines. You collect these throughout the game, basically collectibles, as it, as the tab says. The way to collect these figurines, they're actually hidden in certain scenes. If you've watched all the videos of the main game, you should know where to find them all. If not, get back to it and... I do believe I'm not going to show you everything from the concept art wallpapers uh, or the videos because those are actual scenes that are going to be um, not just from the main game but from the bonus game as well. And in the achievements, these are also things that you get on the collector's edition. I'm actually close to getting seven HOPs without any hints award achievements. I am super excited. Because in the bonus game, there are at least two minimum hidden object puzzles. Yikes. So, <laughs> we should be good on that. I tried doing that with my uh, practice game, and I did not get this achievement at all. I got everything else, though. I got everything else. Uh, these two achievements you actually cannot finish until you finish both the main and bonus game. Oh my gosh, everyone. I had forgotten how recent this game came out. Bonfire Stories Heartless Collector's Edition, well, Heartless and Collector's Edition, came out September 2018, last year. I'm just going to point that out because normally, and I should have noticed this with uh, Faceless Gravedigger, normally the art uh, achievement shows you what the, well, with the first game it was pointing out something, I guess, from the bonus game, but in this, in Heartless... Nothing like that. It's not even from the main game of Heartless. I gotta tell you, I am super excited for when you get to see it. Because I'm definitely going to be checking that out, as well as the trivia questions at the end of the game. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. One thing I do want to mention, because uh, basically I'm not going to go back to the main menu, because we're basically going to be clicking on this. But uh, one thing I do want to mention is that Bonfire Stories Heartless is not much of a scary game, but it's definitely not for the faint of hearts either. So I don't recommend playing this by yourself, although you can. You definitely can play this game both in the dark and with light on. Again, like there's nothing too scary about Bonfire Stories Heartless, but it's just one of those games where you don't really want to frighten yourself to heck. Because there are some things about this game that are not just frightening or spooky, but a little bit scary on the um, psychological side of things. If you've watched the videos of the game, you'd, un you'd understand what I'm talking about. That's the last thing I'm going to bring up, which is, if anything in this video does not look familiar, it is because you have not been catching up on Bonfire Stories Heartless Collector's Edition. I recommend checking out the links in the description box below. 
There's a previous video which shows the end of Heartless, or you could check the playlist, which I definitely recommend because playlist has every single video of Bonfire Stories Heartless. This is actually going to be a bit of a quick video because I did not realize how short the bonus game was. I honestly expected it to be pretty long, but when I played it ahead of time, I did not expect it to be so quick, especially since I got stumped on a lot of things. So let's actually go ahead and get into the game because I've been talking quite enough. Be careful. The hunters are everywhere. Woo! <laughs> Please. Sure. Careful of the branch. Have you guys seen this? Hey, Lonnie. Guys. <gasps> hey, who's there? We get to play as Lonnie? <laughs> Heck oh, yeah! God. What happened? Where am I? They almost noticed us. It's better for them. Uh, I wish this were one of Nick's dumb pranks. Uh, you never know. What the heck? This is Nancy Drew all over again. <laughs> Except, she actually doesn't sound like Nancy Drew. But hey, it's Lonnie Manila. Uh, let's look at everything as per usual. Uh, do, 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 do. yuck. Maybe if I had a glove. Yeah. This is rusted. We need some oil or something like that. Grease, whatever. Ooh. Find the right tool for the job. Alright. This looks like a pickaxe tip. We need a new handle. Yeah. Let's find the lever. Ooh, a wheel. Um, what is this? Pickaxe handle. Oh, sweet. Uh, let's not go over there just... Well, actually, we could just go ahead and do it. Yoink. Um, what? The lever is clap clamped firmly between the stones. I don't like that glove right there. Um, that looks too thin to be a body. Maybe it's just the outfit? I don't know. We'll see. A couple of handles are missing. Ooh. Looks like we can't look up. Alrighty. Well, we we did get all the hearts. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we we got all the hearts as well. Th that's also a collector's kind of thing. Uh, we need railway lever. Yoink! Ah, so that's how it works. Huh. Uh, we go here. Um... Oh, I almost forgot about this. Hey oh Yoink! Paris of wheel handles. Ten. Uh, boy. There it is. Do that there. This is here. We've got wheels to find. Da 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 I'm not going to do a hint, because that would ruin the achievement. Uh, where's this one? Okay. Yoink. Um, oh, I see it now. Um. Oh. Uh, this here? Okay, that works. And this here. Yeah. Sweet! And we have the last one. Oh, here's a puzzle. So. I want to say. I want to say. I want to say it's you. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Dang it. 
There we go. Okay, jeez, that took forever. <laughs> oh boy. It seems like there's someone in there. Have you inhaled some chemicals? Us and the rats are the only thing living in this bunker. Mm. This is really bad. The hunters are real after all. Okay, now she's starting to sound like Nancy. Gosh dang it, Lonnie. Can you do something right, please? <laughs> Oh, I'll never open it like that. Okay, so we need some sort of key. Ooh, we got some gloves, and looks like there's something in there. Hmm. I saw Dr. Wolf push one of his men into the gas chamber, and then he filled it with crimson mist. The poor guy passed out right away. A few days later, he went insane and was taken away from the bunker. I'm scared of being in the same room as the doctor. I don't want to become his next experimental subject. Yikes. That does not sound good. Oh, we need a key. Gosh dang it. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, we have a handle and we have a briefcase that clearly needs to be cut off, cut open. Frick. Okay. It's a grating handle. Bolt must have come loose. A bolt? That's how you open it? Brother. Oh! I'm noticing the triangle. Yep, okay. That works, too. Uh, what is this? The resin has completely dried up. Oh! Resin! So we need some sort of solvent, right? Or some sort of solution that can melt it? Um, okay, so we do have a glove. We can wipe away the spiders. Go away! Go away! Destination Bunker 72. Dates January 4th, 1949? Jeez. Ooh, what is this? Desk handle half. Ah! Um. Suppose this can go here? Yeah. Oh, we have a bolt! Nice! So we can use the bolt here. Yeah. Looks like we have the other half. And this. What is this? Worker's diary? And we need some sort of key. I think that's the same key. I think that's the key that we need. Nope, that's a gear. Never mind. But we do have the desk handle. Whee! Padlock key. Yeah, yeah. Let's get out of here. to do. What do you think? Did the tourists at the fire see us? I heard them talking about our lantern. No, I don't think they would have gone to their tents if they saw us. Come on, or we won't finish before morning. So they're not aware that we fell down a hole. Whoa, what's that? Nice operating system. I need to get out of here. Fast. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, let's get rid of the old stuff. Um, wait, can we use this here? Get that chain? Yes! Sweet! The lid is planted firmly. Could, can we use the pickaxe? Can that be it? Yep, it's a thing. Alright. Yeah, yeah, hidden objects! Hang on. Um... What is this? I think this machine produces the crimson fog. Whoa! Yeah! That's crazy. A yeah, special amulet. Yeah, we need that amulet. Looks like we need some sort of key code. A1. Interesting. Oh, hey, there's a... It's a long way down. Chain with a hook. Oh, can we use the chain hook? Heck yeah! Nice! Uh, before we do that hidden objects, we can actually use the shovel. Yeah. Sweet! Oh! 
we can open the worker's diary. Diary medallion. Nice. February 3rd, 1949. There's a lot of work to do in the bunker, but people keep disappearing. I can't do everything alone. February 9th, 1949. I can't remember how I spent all day yesterday. I have a really bad headache and feel nauseous. The doctor says everything's fine and that I'll feel better by this evening. I'm going I'm going to lie down. Oh, so the doctor used the crimson gas on this person. But why would he feel tired? Or she? Did something happen? I mean, why would fatigue hit the guy if he got hit by the gas? Interesting. Uh code is 25781. All right. Two, five, seven, eight, one. Okay, so that's a C. That must mean clear. So this is enter. Et voila! Oh boy. Hi, mouse. Come in here. What's your problem? Looks like he does not see me. I need to neutralize this hunter. Oh. Need to neutralize the hunter first. Oh, okay. Got it. Uh, which means we gotta do this first. Alrighty. Uh, triangle and snake are hidden. I actually know where these two are. Those are pretty easy to find. The doink, the doink, doink. Um, there's the five. Money, lightning, there's the ring, uh, skull, pencil, handcuffs. They're kind of subtle to find. There's the whistle, weight, and oiler. Sweet! Yeah! yeah. Oh wait, Euler! Euler! Yeah! Alright, I'm unscribing to that guy, seriously. Uh, <laughs> there's this one YouTuber that I'm actually not fond of, but he does produce some good videos from time to time. And it's just really frustrating, because... At first, I used to like him because he does produce some good trolling videos. But the rest are like so annoying and kind of pointless. Which, again, that's what trolling is. Hey, who are you? Open the door now! I'm Lani no Manella! Way. F off! Aw, oh, dang it! You hear me? You're trapped! Says the guy who's in a box that can be How filled can with crimson gas. From him? That's, I have an idea. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, I suppose we need that cushion eventually. Wasn't messing around. Eh. That'd be really tough sitting on that. We need a key. Locked. I'm sad that they didn't give her a voice line for that. She would have totally made a Nancy Drew pun. <laughs> In the Nancy Drew verse, she says, It's locked! So many freaking times. B10 and A1. Death occurred a week after the experiment. Yikes. Equal parts of solutions B10 and A1 don't give the desired result. The side effects were headache, nausea, drowsiness, and feeling generally unwell. In both cases, death occurred a week after the experiment. Oh boy. Oh no, don't tell me. Oh no. A1 solution in more detail. The side effects began to appear two days after the test. I've studied the structure of the A1 solution in more detail. It makes the gas unusable for humans. When I decreased the proportion of the composition in the invention, the side effects began to appear two days after the test. Testing the substance, the gas works quickly and effectively. This is it! If I enhance the gas with the A1 component, I can lull the hunter in the chamber to sleep. For a month, I've been testing the substance on one employee who comes to clean the chamber for experiments. The ratio 149 to 2 
gives no side effects. The gas works quickly and effectively. Oh! We're actually given the... Okay. Ooh, we could use that tube. But for what? Oh. What is that? Solvent. Oh, hey! Yeah, we definitely need a key. Wasn't there something we needed a solvent for? Uh, oh yeah, over here. Heck yeah! Give me that blade! You can use it on the hexaw. Yes! Ooh, freaking yeah! So what is this? Desk key? Yes, please! Give me, give me, give me! I know we're pretty much at the end of the video. Oh, that means I need to do a two-parter. No! <laughs> yeah, there's no way I can finish it in this video. I miscalculated. Pink liquid from the main hull and pour the solution A1 into a small flask. Penetrates the gas mask and incomplete protection systems. Um, really? That's a weird way to say it. I ordered that a processing machine be made. Now calculating the correct proportions is simple. All you have to do is fill a large flask with pink liquid from the main hull and then pour the solution A1 into a small flask. Surprisingly, the uh, gas enriched with the A1 solution even penetrates gas masks and incomplete protection systems. If I turn on this machine, the hunter should fall asleep. Oh, hey. Answer given. Uh, so we can pretty much, yeah, okay. Uh, so we need to open the clamps. There we go. Uh, so we need to fill these two, right? Yeah. Sweet. Give me. And this is A1. Nice. Very, very nice. Um, let's do this. And bam! And now we just need to turn it on. Yoink. Um, bye bye! Um,. Oh, shoot. Uh, dang it! Simon says, alright. Alright. I've already forgotten what it was. Dang it! done yeah that was a little that that was a bit difficult all right so we are actually gonna save this end it here i know this will make the next video short but i really don't think it's the best idea to finish everything in this video only because of the achievements that we have left to complete when we uh finish the bonus game so this actually would be the best place to stop <laughs> uh because as i just said we have the achievements to finish, which is the art, uh, yeah, da, 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 there, yeah, yeah, the art connoisseur is definitely going to take a little bit, considering it's a puzzle, a jigsaw puzzle, and then there's the, um, trivia questions, which does take about a minute or two to do. All in all, I mean, this bonus game, definitely interesting. Lonnie's character is discovering these hunters are real. And what's weird is that in the bonus game of Faceless Gravedigger, one of the guys was actually purposely left behind as a prank. 
and he saw the Faceless Gravedigger plenty of times and was like, wait, what? The real Faceless Gravedigger. Everyone was in on it, of course. It was the guy that's telling the Heartless story that dressed up as Faceless Gravedigger and walked away instead of what the real Faceless Gravedigger would do. <laughs> um, it was pretty funny. And that was actually a spoiler. Spoilers. Uh, if any of you have not played Faceless Gravedigger, oopsies. Don't worry, I'll put an annotation saying spoiler alert. Hey -o. I do believe that is going to be it, everyone. Oh my gosh, what a crazy video. I look forward to seeing how the bonus game ends, but seeing as I played ahead to make sure I didn't look entirely dumb, I actually know what's going to happen, and I'm actually a bit disappointed. Only for my writer's side of things, my author side of things. I just, it's kind of driving me nuts. Like I've been saying, this, this is going to be it. I love you all so, so, so much, my beautiful kittens and viewers. I hope to talk to you all in the next video, and I hope you all enjoy this video as much as I did. And on that note, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, smash that like button like a kitten would. And if you're just now tuning into this channel by watching this video, go ahead and click, 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 click that ugly red subscribe button. Make it that beautiful gray, as well as the bell icon right next to it. I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I am Sweet Rascally Rabbit, saying goodbye. Stay awesome and stay on YouTube! Got the bunch of lovely coconuts, dilly dilly standing in a row. Whoa, wah, wah.